everyone, it's Miss Carol. And this week I thought I'd read a story to you uh, because it is Easter week, it is Holy Week, and I, I wanted to read a book about Easter. So I'm going to read to you the first Easter. I know some of you think you're too old to be read to, but I think that you are never too old to be read to because I actually like when someone reads to me. So let's read about the first Easter. It was the time of the Passover, and Jesus knew that he was coming to the end of his work in this world. He told his disciples, Peter and John, to go into Jerusalem, where they would meet a man carrying a pitcher of water. When they found him, they asked if Jesus and his disciples could celebrate the Passover in his upstairs guest room. While they were eating the Passover supper in the upper room, Jesus said, One of you is going to betray me to my enemies, the high priest and the Roman governor of the city. Each disciple asked, Is it me? Is it me? And Jesus said, It will be the one who dips his hand into the dish with me. Jesus took bread and broke it. Then he gave his disciples wine, and he said, Eat this bread and drink this wine in remembrance of me. After they had sung a hymn, they all went out to the Mount of Olives. Jesus told the disciples, Tonight you will all be in trouble because of me. Peter said, Everyone else may be in trouble, but I will always stand by you. But Jesus said, Before the cock crows tomorrow morning, you will three times deny that you know owe me. You know me. Jesus left his disciples in the Garden of Gethsemane and went up to the mountain to pray. Well, he was very sorrowful. Three times he came back to see his disciples, but each time they were asleep. Jesus said, couldn't you watch with me for one hour? But he knew they were very tired. Then he said, it is time we left here. The crowds and the disciple who is going to betray me are coming. It was Judas Iscariot who gave Jesus away to the high priest and the elders. They paid him 30 pieces of silver to tell them where Jesus was. Judas said to them, the man I shall greet with a kiss is the man you want. When Judas saw Jesus, he said, Hail, Master, and kissed him. At once the people caught hold of Jesus and took him prisoner. When Peter saw this, he was angry and he drew a sword. He cut off one man's ear. But Jesus said, Put up your sword. I don't need it. My Father in heaven could send 12 legions of angels if I wanted to be kept safe. And then he healed the man's ear. The crowd took Jesus to the house of Caiaphas, the high priest. Many people came there to swear that Jesus had pretended to be the king of Jews. They said he had plotted against the Romans who ruled the country. While this was going on, Peter was outside. And a girl came up to him and said, you are a friend of Jesus. Peter said, no, I don't know him. First time. Then two more people came up and said, you were with Jesus of Nazareth. And Peter told them that he didn't know them. So that's one, two, three times. Then suddenly the cock crowed. Peter remembered what Jesus had told him. And he went outside and wept bitterly. In the morning, the high priests and elders took Jesus to Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor, to have him condemned to death. When Judas saw this, he tried to give back the 30 pieces of silver to the high priests, but they would not take them. Judas felt very bad because he knew that Jesus had done nothing wrong. Judas felt so guilty that he went and hanged himself. When Pontius Pilate saw Jesus, he asked, Are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus said, Those are your words, not mine. Pilate asked him a great many questions, but he could not find anything that Jesus had done wrong. Pilate said to the people, This man is innocent. Shall I let him go? But the people cried, No, release Barabbas, the robber, instead. While Pilate was wondering what to do, his wife sent him a message, and she said, Don't let this good man be killed. I had a dream about him last night. 
But Pilate knew that the crowds of people wanted him to set Barabbas free, not Jesus. Pilate was afraid to go against the crowd, so he washed his hands in front of them and said, I am innocent of the blood of this good man. Before the soldiers took Jesus outside the city to be killed, they mocked Jesus. They put a crown of thorns on his head and gave him a purple robe. Then they pretended to worship him. They whipped him and made him carry a wooden cross to Calvary, the place where he was to be crucified. Jesus was crucified between two thieves. The soldiers taunted him. They said, if you are the son of God, get down off your cross. But Jesus prayed to God, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. After three hours in the hot sun, Jesus died. A man called Joseph of, I know how to say this word, is it a rat? It's Arimathea, Arimathea, Joseph of Arimathea, came to put Jesus' body in the tomb. And he wrapped Jesus' body in linen and spices and rolled an enormous stone in front of the tomb to keep the body safe. Early the next morning, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and found it empty. The stone had been rolled away. Mary saw a figure in a long white robe sitting in the tomb. The figure asked her, why do you cry? Mary said, because they've taken away the body. Mary went out into the garden and saw someone who she thought must be a gardener. And she asked him, please, do you know what happened to Jesus' his body? And then he said, Mary? And she looked and saw that it was Jesus. He came back from the dead. And she said, Master, and was filled with joy. Oh, that's the end. <laughs> well, boys and girls, that's we all know what happens on Easter Sunday. Jesus is alive. And how wonderful it is. And he is risen. That's what we say. He is risen. So I hope all of you have a wonderful, wonderful Easter. And I hope you'll have a wonderful experience on Good Friday is, is remembering what happened that day and remembering that Jesus died for our sins. What a, what a wonderful thing he did for us. But remember that on Easter Sunday, he rises again and lives with God. So boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our story. And until the next time that I see you, have a happy Easter and blessings to you all. I miss you all. Take care.